So the Beowulf ECR with 5.56 ammo. Do you guys remember when this thing used to be literally just bonkers? Like I'm talking over the top, dumb. And then they nerfed it. Or so I thought. So as you guys know, I haven't really paid too much attention to the buffs and nerfs for quite a while. I occasionally will catch some of them here and there, but not as in detailed as it used to be. Uh, so I heard the ECR was nerfed. Cool beans, right? Like it shouldn't be any big issues. Whatever. I decided to try it out again today just because it held such a strong point in the community for so long. Maybe it's still decent. And surprise, surprise, it is. So the main thing that happened was the damage got nerfed on this gun. Pretty sure that was like the main thing, right? The gun's no longer like a four shot with its really good rate of fire, everything, blah, blah, blah. The gun's now a five shot. At range, it's a five shot. I, I think that's an important distinction. So close range, still a four shot. In fact, you hit one shot, it's actually a three shot. <laughs> if you actually just hit one headshot, the gun's actually a three shot, not a four shot. Um... And it shoots faster than a G36. And with the L85 shot. And it's just, it's still good, is what I'm trying to say. Like, it's still nowhere near bad. It's definitely not the crazy power that it used to be where like, you know, if you made a new account and you just wanted to roll through everyone with ease, you just go Beowulf 556 because it couldn't lose to like anything. Nowadays, sure, has its downsides, but this shoots faster than most assault rifles. It has the same damage as most assault rifles. In fact, it's more powerful close range than I believe 85% mm, of accurate assault rifles. It's still insanely good. And this is one of those things where it's like, uh, will this ever change? I don't know. It held such a strong point in the community for so long. How could you really nerf it to be not as good? And I, I don't mean to say it's overpowered, but when you compare this to something like the... The direct comparisons for assault rifles are going to be things like the HK416, the G36, L85, Scar L, things like that. Decently accurate guns with okay damage. This gun shoots faster than all of them, and it's not crazy inaccurate. You're going to notice here with my setup, and if, editor, if you could throw the setup while you're on screen somewhere, I have this certain setup on, and I get a lot of horizontal recoil, really back and forth, if you see here. Kind of bounces back and forth a lot and that's not that big of an issue in phantom forces considering our characters literally make shrek look skinny so you kind of just win all around with this gun and it's not much of a complaint i sort of like it where it's at it's no longer the stupid overpowered gun it used to be but it also holds sort of a weird spot i'm having trouble trying to think of a gun that would really match exactly what this does i'm sure there's one out there that's really easy to think of and i'm just missing it if you guys can let me know in the comments what shoots at about 800 rounds per minute and has assault rifle damage and assault rifle accuracy uh because there's definitely one out there and i'm just it's slipping my mind but this gun's still incredibly good using it on you can honestly use it on any map i was using this on desert storm before i started recording and desert storm is much more of a long range map and you can still do just fine like i said that horizontal recoil really isn't that bad i usually don't have the best setups for these guns nowadays i'm sure it could be optimized much more than what i have so you can probably make this even more accurate uh, shoot probably a lot more usable at range than what i currently have and the gun is still solid and this brings me to a weird point with Phantom Forces gun balancing where, you know, occasionally you have a gun and this is just a good example where this gun was really powerful for a really long time. The gun gets nerfed and it becomes not as good as you would hurt for a nerf to do. But you don't want to kill a gun off, right? You don't want to make a gun just not worth the time because that can be a little bit eh. That sort of just, you know, if somebody spent credits on the gun or anything like that, you don't want to take away the usability of a gun. But at the same time, do you always want to keep the same gun circulating in the meta? It's a weird spot. And I don't think that there's really a good answer all around because there's no way that you can make everyone happy with it. Uh, where the 5.56 ECR is right now, I think is honestly pretty good. Uh, definitely stronger than most assault rifles out there still, which the only complaint I have about that is that really this is supposed to be a battle rifle. And the 5.56 conversion wasn't ever necessary. Uh, so it puts other assault rifles in a really weird spot because why use most assault rifles when you could just use this? Sure, it might cost some more credits. It might have a little bit more of an unlock. And I guess you could argue potentially that it has like a little bit more of a skill gap just because it's not as accurate as some other guns. But do we want to keep undermining a category? I know that became an issue for me personally, uh, and some may disagree with this, where LMGs were assault rifle accurate, had LMG damage, and most of them weren't shooting that slow. 
Like, they still held up. I, I, the AUG H-Bar being a perfect example. The AUG H-Bar was just basically an assault rifle with LMG damage at the end of the day. Uh, now, of course, it's been tweaked quite a lot over the years, and it's never been, you know, M60 damage heavy, but it was just a better assault rifle. And not having that distinction between categories is definitely weird. It draws a lot of gray area where we're not getting the best of results. And that's not to say that I know how to fix any problems because obviously, you know, I just come on here and blabber my mouth. But it definitely is always been a concern to me that we have these guns that really overlap in categories. I feel like it's very rare that we have a distinction in what the category should be. And especially ever since ammo types come in, you know, turning AKs into shotguns, turning AKs into DMRs, you know, turning a battle rifle into an assault rifle. All these things become very, very weird and kind of a little bit of a blind spot for them where do we want them to continue doing that? I personally always wish that there would have been a clear cut role between these guns. I don't think it'll ever happen, unfortunately, but that's just something that... I personally would want. Uh, so just a quick little video. I was just personally surprised to see that the 5.56 EZR was still really good. Better than I thought it was, because I don't think I've touched it since the nerf, uh, since obviously I thought it was nerfed much more than it was. Uh, but not a bad nerf, not a bad update to the gun at all. Just a weird place for me. And I think I might have voiced this before in the past. I'm sure I have, but always just been weirded out by that. Just my opinion. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.